Hello everybody on YouTube, it's your boy the Memphis XLR8 with a tutorial for y'all today. So we're going to be showing you today how to change your sleeves on EDO Pro. I was asked on a live stream the other day, how do you change your sleeves on EDO Pro? And I'm going to show you today, it's real simple, real easy, and it's just a nice way to personalize your sleeves on the good old EDO Pro. Make your cards look a little bit nicer and all that good stuff. Alright, so first step, you got to find your image. Now, if you're a really good artist or something, you're really good at drawing on the computer, I'm not. I'm good at drawing on a piece of paper, but not on the internet. But if you're good at that, you have your own image. If you don't have that sort of skill, then you're going to go onto the internet, go to Google or Bing or whatever it is you do. And let's just look up cool dragons. As you can see, we have quite a few really cool looking dragons. This guy looks pretty cool. I think I could do something with that. So we've got our dude. You want to right click on that, open yourself up in another tab. That way you get the nice clean image. And you're going to go ahead and take yourself a capture. That way you have yourself your picture. You press good old Windows G. Take yourself a quickie. Take yourself a quickie. All right, so once you have your picture set up, you want to find your picture. You're going to do just a little bit of editing here. So as you can see, we're using paint today. You can use any old editor of pictures that you have. If you have a nice video, there we go. All right, so now once you have your picture, you want to do just a wee bit of trimming, a little bit of editing. As you can see, I'm in paint. That's how easy this is. You can use paint or whatever sort of image altering sort of thing you got, Adobe, whatever you got to have. And we're just going to trim just a smidge off just to get rid of this background and all that stuff. So we're going to trim that out real quick. Invert selection and boom, there you go. You got your starting image right there. We're going to go ahead and shrink that down real quick just to have it nice and simple here. It's a very big image. We are going to go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. Because it's not going to be able to keep the whole image. Because you're going to have to have it smaller. So we're going to start right here. This is going to be nice and big enough. You, know, you don't want the image to be too, too huge. You just want it to be big enough that you can have a lot of the details. So we're going to go ahead for this. And there you go, we have our starting image. We're going to go ahead and select all and make a copy of that. That's the next step. Now let's go on to actually changing the sleeves. Alrighty, now we're going to get into actually fixing the sleeves. You're going to open up your file explorer. You want to go to your desktop or wherever you have Project Ignis at. We're going to go ahead, you're going to right click onto Ignis and you're going to open file location. It'll open up a bar like this one. You can see all the different things, your decks, the expansions, etc, 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 etc. You're going to go down to textures. Textures is where you want to go. This is where all the different pictures for the game are at. And you got your two covers. You got cover, which is your sleeves. Cover, your opponent's sleeves. We're going to edit our sleeves today. You can edit both, of course. Just try, try to keep an image of the original sleeve just in case you need that. Keep an extra of that one. But we're going to go ahead and right click on cover and go to edit. So there you go, we got our original sleeve up in here, a little Romage action. I'm going to draw a little mustache here because I can. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and post our captured image. As you can see, there's going to be a little bit of distension here. You don't want that to be there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is shrink this image slowly but methodically so that it doesn't get messed up too, too much. And you want to shrink until it's just slightly smaller than your original image. You want to see a little bit of the border of the original image right there. You're going to copy that, and then you're going to get rid of it all. Then you're going to go ahead and post the new image. And as you can see, it's going to be nice and snug in there. And you can stretch it out like that. You can stretch it out even more if you want. I'm going to go stretch it out like... How do I want to stretch this one out? I want to stretch it... I want to make it look like this. I'm going to make it look like that. And you see, it's, a, it's going to be a little bit stretched. Just a little bit stretched because it's a little bit smaller than the original image. So, you know, if you can get a smaller image that's got a lot of detail, it, it doesn't get distorted quite as much. But it's pretty easy to do. You just add it in there. But let, let's let's add it, let's add a little bit more on here. Let's add it just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add like a, a sunglass sort of thing. I'm gonna add some sunglass. I can only add one sunglass. This guy only got one eye, but you know what? I can add a sunglass. There you go. A little bit of black on there. And then we just add a little bit of the white as soon as I shrink that down. 
Oh yeah, add some shine on there. Now like I gotta say, you don't have to be perfect about anything. Who needs everything to be perfect? If you want to make it perfect, go right ahead. Me, I'm just gonna add. I'm gonna add an arm. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna add a little dragon arm. This guy's got a. This guy's got a big meaty fist. You don't, You would not want to get punched by this dragon. He got a big old meaty fist on him. Just kind of loosely going off of the colors on the shoulder here. A little tricky on paint, but like I said, there's better picture editors. If you got that, it's a little easy. I'm just trying to, you know, do something. Just a little something just to make it, give it a little bit more attitude. That's the plan here. And boom, there's your uncle. We got a little bit of a dragon with an attitude problem. You're flicking, y'all. That is, it's not actually terrible. I mean, obviously, it's not as good as the original, but, you know, I like it. I, I drew a dragon flicking people off. There you go. So, I hope you guys learned something from this here tutorial. It's really easy to make your own sleeves on EDO Pro. Like I said, if you're an artist, you could probably make your own pictures. If you can't, it's easy to find pictures. Just don't claim that they're yours, because that ain't the way to do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun making some sleeves on Go to Yo Pro. And your boy Memphis signing off for now. Take care.